My Pecha Kucha is on the top music venues in the Reno area and what is preferred by the locals and my own personal preference. I will also discuss the qualities that bring the public back to certain venues and the unique history each venue had to undergo. Many people consider Reno to be the biggest little city in the world. Casinos, bars, and clubs are just a few activities Reno has to offer. Although you have to be of age to do these activities, there are also things younger ages can do as well. And to many teenagers, music happens to be their hobby. Several locals would recommend the New Factory as a top venue to people from out of state. It is located in the heart of downtown on North Virginia Street across from the river. The Knitting Factory attracts many college students because it is close to the UNR campus and the tickets are affordable prices. The first Knitting Factory opened in 1987 and was founded by Michael Dorff and Bob Apple. Their intention was to create an art gallery slash performance space selling coffee. The four-story walk-up was primarily a showcase. After a few years, several popular bands played at their venue, and it grew. Today, there are locations in Brooklyn, Boise, Spokane, and Reno. The Reno Event Center is located downtown at 400 North Center, across from the National Bowling Stadium. The convenience of the Reno Event Center is that there are several hotels nearby for after the concerts, and it is close to the UNR campus for college students. The Reno Event Center is preferred by many due to the large space for performers and concert goers. The facility is 118,000 square feet and offers 7,500 seats, a balcony, and floor space. Beverages and snacks are offered from the included full-service kitchen. The Grand Sierra Resort, also known as the GSR, is located off of 395, three miles away from downtown Reno. The GSR offers several activities besides a concert pavilion, such as go-karting, mini-golfing, and an arcade. After the concert, people can simply stay in one of the hotel rooms without leaving the building. The GSR first opened May 3, 1978, and has been three different hotels. It opened as the MGM Grand Reno and over the years became Bally's, Reno Hilton, and in April 2011 became the Grand Sierra Resort. The Grand Theater offers a venue to seat 1,800 people and is home to the biggest indoor stage in the world. I talked to local Emma Beecham and asked her what quality she looked for in a concert venue. She responded, floor space, seating available, easy accessible, safe location, and cheap tickets. These all contribute to quality concert venues. The Knitting Factory offers concerts of local bands and smaller up-and-coming artists. Throughout the week, there are several concerts held at the Knitting Factory. The tickets are more reasonably priced and the concerts tend to not sell out as quickly. The Reno Events Center hosts popular musicians and artists who are big in the music world today. Tickets tend to be more costly than the Knitting Factory due to the high talent performing at the Reno Events Center and the costly price of the facility itself. The GSR offers popular artists as well as the Reno Event Center. For country, rock, and pop concerts, they are held in the Grand Theater. The rave and techno concerts like Pretty Lights and Bass Nectar are held in the ballrooms with plenty for space for dancing. The world's largest stage at the Grand Sierra Resort fits 1,800 people in their plush seating. The stage offers artists an elevator lift within the stage. Amazing lighting and sound projecting to all 1,800 seats is offered at this venue. Rave concerts at the GSR are held in the Grand Ballroom. The space is 39,846 square feet, and the room is accented with additional lighting of chandeliers. 2,900 guests can fit in the ballroom, allowing a dancing space with no additional seating.
The knitting factory was built to hold around 1,265 people in the facility. Videotaping can be requested three days in advance and a release must be signed. Conveniently, there is a special load-in area down Fulton Alley for the artists and parking for both buses and semi-trucks. Founders Michael Dorf and Louis Spitzer started a recording company called Flaming Pie Records when first opening the knitting factory. The recording company allowed them to get bands to play at the club. They started getting more well-known, and so did the Knitting Factory. Today, the recording company is called The Knitting Factory Works. The Reno Event Center is located in the liveliest part of the city. Parking is available at the local hotels free of charge or at some garages requiring validation. The large lot gives the event center an open entrance and plenty of room outside while waiting in line to validate tickets. When choosing a concert, I look at both the location of the venue, price of the tickets, the space offered at the location, and the security offered at the venue. These all contribute to choosing a quality concert venue and experiencing a concert to remember. After attending several concerts over the years and visiting both the Knitting Factory, Grand Sierra Resort, Pavilion, and the Reno Event Center, I would have to say that my favorite venue is the Reno Event Center because of the location and the decent ticket prices.